Hello guys, welcome to Trend Tech. Today we are going to see what are the features are there in MI8. Yeah, let's start with volume control. First time it's given a three panel volume control like stock and right so that we can adjust volume, music and alarm sound. This is very appreciated. And second one is the notification panel which is similar to TouchWiz of Samsung and other big phones. It is really amazing. Uh, if you don't like that one, you can change it to your normal one. As a normal one. And this is the quick ball. I change the shortcuts. We can change it. As we desire, we can change it screenshot lock or something back screen. I have changed it to shortcuts to security play store, which is very handy. We can move wherever you want, and we can disable it in similar apps like when we play videos or web browsing. And we can take screenshot from here, and screenshot shows a thumbnail here, and we can quickly edit this one here. Yeah, we can crop here. We have so many doodle features here. We can uh, all are something amazing. We can you can check it out yourself when you got one. And uh, next thing is you can see all themes all changed here and wallpapers are other section. Some of the MIUI 7 themes are not compatible with MIUI 8. Uh, that is a major disappointing for me. And here is a camera. Uh, before we used to have a right side filters but now they have changed the filters more here we have to select here but it is really disappointing for me and HDR mode is on the right side it is very not handy to catch when you are using in two hand mode it is good to check whether camera quality is above average uh, not good as but compared to MIUS 7 it is good we will see when the final ROM is available and let's see with settings yeah here is the sim cards uh, nothing changed here Wi-Fi and advanced settings we can select our band either 2.5 or 5 gb Bluetooth nothing more there in display we can select a reading mode contrast and we can select the sizes here medium large excel and comes to wallpaper we can change here direct wallpapers and we can select here carousel wallpapers also themes we have plenty of themes in MIUS store, you can download your wish. But the only problem is MIUS 7 themes are not compatible with MIUS 8. Uh, let me show that to you. Uh, yeah, see this one. Yeah, it shows a message that some of the MIUS apps are not compatible with MIUS 8. But it comes, it works. Next, we go to sound vibration. Yeah, here nothing more, but we got no nice panels here to adjust here. That's very good. And I go to lock screen fingerprint. We can adjust the left or right to the shortcuts and smart cover mode, all other etc. Uh, we can see commonly seen in the MIUS 7. We can show notification icons or we can see connection, everything similar to MIUS 7. Second space is the new one uh, which is there in MIUS. It is using two different lock screens and to shift to one. one uh, it is similar to private or personal mode, uh, better to say it is uh, then a second space or something like that naming it differently 
it asks us whether to move your data from uh, first space to second space. It is really handy when you are giving uh, to an unknown person. You can save your save your privacy um, and do not disturb mode. Uh, when it comes to battery, I don't see anything there. We can see animations. Yeah, here is the battery mode. Did you seem a little bit change when compared to my son? Let me check the brightness. Right. Let me check the brightness. Yeah. Here is a battery saver mode and here are the some of the apps. Yeah, one second. Yeah, here is the battery saver modes uh, and here is the schedule on and off. Battery usage. Yeah, after update it changed everything. And here are yeah, you can see storage here. I not lose any data while updating, but better to uh, backup first. In privacy, you can see all device administration. All are similar, but uh, yeah, I'm going through everything. And notification lights are here given. Yeah, it is. We got a new new notes. Let me see. Yeah, you can see here. This is Redmi Note 3, Android version 5.1.1, and it is global beta version 6.75, and it is 3GB RAM version. Yeah, that's it. Mm, here is the app lock. Yeah, it is different for one one. We can lock everything as you wish, and it is asking different patterns for first space and second space. We'll go through it later. Yeah, here is the permission to start or not auto start functions. Mm. Uh, let me show you a dual space. Maybe I have to shift to first space. Yeah, here we get the first space. Yeah. This is the one more new feature in the MIU 8. This is the dual dual apps. Just we can clone the apps into two modes. Yeah, let me clone Facebook. If you use a parallel space, you will know uh, it is similar to parallel space. Yeah, um, you can get two Facebooks, two WhatsApps, everything you will. Yeah, here is the clone app. You can see a link here. Um, the link one is the second one, and the first one is here, and the first one uh, both are here Facebook and WhatsApp, and the cl cloned apps are here. These are uh, some of the MIU8 features and we thought we get a multi-window feature but it is missing. Uh, let's hope for final version. Mm, everything works fine and themes are good. Uh, let me show you the calculator one uh, which they are, right, which they are stressing when we are getting in MIU8. Yeah, here is a calculator app. On the right, on the left top, you see a dot buttons. When you press this one, you can change a currency. Everything we get uh, when you type here, it automatically changes into USD or Euro, and whichever currency you check it, and all measurements, etc. I mean, length, scientific, everything we get in this one. Yeah. That's it. Uh, I liked it. The themes are cool. Um, notification panel looks very different, and we have a handy big ball. Thank you, guys.